Vegas Raiders yet. And uh, what would it get to mean to you to uh, get to play with that team with all those weapons like Devontae Adams, Jacoby Myers, all those guys? I have met with them, uh, met with them on the second day. So I believe that was Wednesday. How'd and that meeting go? It, it went really well. You know, loved all the coaches. They just, you know, have great energy, great questions, great interaction. Uh, it would mean a lot to play with those guys, but it would mean a lot to play with any, you know, one of the great players in the NFL. But it was awesome. JJ, what are your thoughts on the formal meeting with the Broncos? It was awesome. You know, Coach Payton's energy, Coach Webb, um, Coach Lombardi. It was just really great to be in that room with them and go through tape. It, it was honestly a really fun time. So it was a blessing to just, you know, pick their brains a little bit and have them, you know, just shoot me questions left and right. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. JJ, you playing with Sean Payton. How do you see yourself with him? Fellow Illinois guy, you know, absolutely would be an honor to play for him. And, you know, just. Everything about this process has been so great, and any team who selects me, it would be an honor. JJ, have you met with the Patriots yet? And if so, how did those conversations go? Yes, sir, I have, and they went amazing. You know, Coach Mayo, just awesome guy, asking really great questions. You know, you could definitely tell he's been around this process a long time and been a part of it, and, you know, it's just great interactions again. You know, it would be an honor to be part of their organization. Have you met with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? I have, yes, sir. Was that a formal or a formal? A formal. How did that meeting go? Amazing. Once again, you know, great interactions, great guys. Uh, like I said before, it would be a blessing to be able to play for them. Now you didn't pass as much as some of the quarterbacks in this particular class, but what people don't understand is you had some of the best great stats in the, in the nation this year because of your good decision making. Uh, what leads to that process? Like, is it coaching? Is it just like uh, how you play the game? Like, what is, like, you just constantly make good decisions. You know, it's honestly just the mentality behind it. Obviously, it's coaching. Obviously, it's a buildup with the chemistry with the receivers and being on the same page as uh, Coach Moore. But, you know, it's just playing one play at a time. And, you know, you never get each play back. So just trying to focus in on, you know, doing the best I can within each play, whatever's asked of me, whether it's, you know, handoff and carrying out my fake or ripping a end cut, you know, on the backside of a concept. So it's, uh, you know, something that, you know, the play calling's out of my control. But whatever's in my control, I'm going to do it to the best of my ability. What's your scouting report on JJ McCarthy? <laughs> um, I would say, you know, tough, gritty guy who only cares about winning at the end of the day, you know, loves the game of football with a burning passion, loves his teammates, um, just pretty much everything you would want in a starting quarterback, I would say. JJ, you mentioned being an Illinois guy. Yes, sir. Uh, LaGrange, LaGrange Park. LaGrange Park, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sorry. Um, you so you won, went to three straight state championship games there at LaGrange Park. What, yes, what do you remember from that experience? Um, Coach Racky, you know, my head coach at Nazareth Academy, just everything he's instilled in me and my teammates is something that, you know, not only makes us great football players, but greater men at the end of the day and really starts that foundation of having great intangibles. So that's something, you know, that I remember, of course, the locker room, of course, you know, the great teammates around me. It was just so much fun in those three years. And, you know, I can't wait to get back there with the reunion one day. JJ, back in high school, did you ever imagine you would be at this point? Uh, yes, sir. This was definitely, you know, I didn't know when or where, but it was going to be, you know, a stepping stone in my journey to ultimately everything that I've been working for since, uh, you know, seven years old. You know, like, stats for me wasn't really the big thing. All I cared about was being the best teammate I could possibly be, being, you know, the best quarterback I could possibly be, whatever's asked of me. And the only stat I cared about was W's, and we did pretty good in that category. JJ, when we've all seen you meditating before games, you talk about the mental side. How do you think that will help you on the next level? I would say, you know, it helps me the most because no matter where you are in life, no matter what, you know, position you're in, as long as you're in the present moment, you're going to perform at the most optimal state as you can. And, you know, that's something that, you know, creates discipline, creates a foundation of just being able to be responsive to things instead of react to things and be able to dictate your day more. So it's just another tool that's going to help me handle the process, like you said, and the pressure. But yeah, it's just ultimately something that's going to help me in all areas of life, not just football. Do you have any other goals uh, for the on-field test? I mean, you've got some great athleticism. Uh, any times you're looking to, to, to cross? Uh, or anything? More of a process guy. Yeah. So I'm just worried about, you know, focusing on my fundamentals, focusing on, you know, just doing the best of my possible ability. And, you know, we'll see what happens from there. 
um, showcase, you know, how I throw the Duke because I absolutely love it. And, you know, that's something that is most important for a quarterback, obviously, but also just the way I move and, you know, short dis distances with the shuttles and everything like that. And, you know, obviously the most important part is getting in front of teams and interacting with them. Yeah. JJ, if you I would say just let them know who I am. You know, that's something that, you know, a lot of people don't know. And, you know, it's not just, you know, putting on a front. Like, I want them to actually understand that I truly love the game of football. I truly love my teammates and want to do nothing but win football games. JJ, if you were to be uh, drafted by the Raiders, uh, you would be going up against Coach Harbaugh twice a year. What would that be like for you? <laughs> It'll be a little interesting, you know, looking across the field and seeing him in the baby blue. But, uh, you know, it would be an honor just being on that field in general, no matter who's across the sideline. Uh, but, yeah, there would definitely be some, you know, nice emotional hugs afterwards. What were, sure. your, what were your thoughts on Antonio Pierce? Uh, amazing dude. You know, just asked so many great questions. Uh, definitely somebody I can see myself playing for. JJ, there's a video of you throwing the ball to Blake yeah, I don't know how that got out there. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Uh, Blake was telling me, you know, he he feels like he could have done a lot more in that area, and he's going to run some routes at Pro Day from the slot, so that'll be another sight to see for you guys. And have you had a chance to catch him before um, I did see him. Uh, it was right before my Seattle interview, and funny story. Um, he walked in there, you know, all, obviously all love, all hugs and all that. And as he was leaving, you know, the Seattle Seahawks guys were saying, oh, you wouldn't be in here if Coach Carroll was still our head coach. So that was a good one, but it was great seeing him. Um, I really loved how, you know, I drew up a play that, you know, I could run against or run in every situation, third down, fourth down, first and second, all that good stuff. And then, you know, the coaches were kind of changing my verbiage and making it their own. It was really nice to kind of like get a feel of, you know, what that offense would be like. And it was actually a lot more simple. So it was good. JJ, growing yeah. up in the uh, Chicago area, you think about playing at Soldier Field, playing for the Bears possibly? Yeah, you know, it's been one of my dreams of mine, you know, whether I'm playing for the Bears or against them. But, you know, Soldier Field, one of the oldest stadiums in America. And, you know, just growing up to the – going to all the games and, you know, being part of a halftime thing where I was player of the week in Illinois, something that would be, you know, truly a dream come true. What have your interactions been like with the Bears so far? Been great formal interview. Uh, it was awesome just, you know, watching tape with them, going over, you know, our our plays a little bit. And, you know, they got me up on the board to retain some information. And we did pretty well, so it was awesome. Do you compare yourself to? What's your I'm not a big comparison guy. I'm just somebody, you know, obviously I take bits and pieces from other players' games, but I try to make it my own and be the best version of myself because there's only one J.J. McCarthy, just like there's only one Tom Brady, only one Joe Burrow, all those guys. J.J., what advice would you give young high school players that you wish you would have had when you were that age about getting your day? I would say enjoy it when it's not a job. Just that camaraderie you get with the teammates that you've never – most of them are never going to play football again. You know, those are so invaluable. And I would say never leave any stone unturned. You know, there's so many ways to develop. There's so many ways to get better. And ultimately, the last thing I would say is, you know, chase that suffering. Chase that, you know, short-term period where you're struggling and you hate to do it because ultimately, you know, it's going to lead to a better life in the long run. Um, you know, for me personally, I'm not worried about that. You know, I'm worried about, you know, just being my best self and worried about, you know, later down the road, eventually being one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. You know, that's the only thing I care about. This draft class is obviously loaded. You know, a lot of older guys, a lot of really good talent. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just going to focus on being myself, focus on grinding every day and hopefully being one of the best in the what league. Makes you, what makes you unique? I would say just my ultimate selflessness, my ultimate love for the game, and I don't know a lot of the guys that meditate, so I guess that makes me unique. How does playing in the big championship game, the number that you did, just kind of swell or grow your confidence? 
Good to see you, Ed. Um, I would say, you know, being in those moments, whether it's, you know, out there visualizing on the field, going through every situation, you win the game in your mind. But when you actually win the game on the field and you experience all the sensations of doing it on that big stage, it just gives you so much more confidence. And with experience comes wisdom, and that's invaluable. TJ, you've always been, you keep talking about this, you keep talking about and have for a long time being a team guy, but this is about you, right? How are you sort of balancing that? Um, I would say that, you know, that's who I am, being a team guy. You know, it's not something that I'm going to start being, you know, selfish now because I have to sell myself more. I'm going to sell myself on how much I care about my teammates. And it kind of goes hand in hand with just who I am as a person is, you know, being selfless and always caring about the guy next to me more than myself. And that's just something that's innate and I really can't change. Hey, hey, hey. Steelers? I have not, no sir. I have not, no, and no team surprised me. The Raiders? Yes, sir. It went great. You know, asked great questions, great interactions. You know, Coach Pierce was awesome, great energy. Uh, Coach Getze, you know, great seeing him. Coach Campbell used to play for him, so that was really cool. That was my quarterback coach out of Michigan. And uh, yeah, it was just awesome interactions. I don't know, I feel like I would get slighted, but something around like, uh, give myself 94, something like that. Why would you get slighted? I don't know. It's just people, you know, haven't seen much, so obviously they're going to think, you know, the, the worst, because that's how we do it nowadays. <laughs> Are you planning on doing the full workout tomorrow and all the drills? Uh, I won't jump and I won't run the 40 just because I have a little hammy tightness, but I'll throw, I'll do the shuttles and do all that. What is your interaction discussing your selflessness with teams? I mean, what, what do you use for examples of the second half of Penn State game? What would you use? Yeah, that was a big one that came up and, you know, it was kind of the ability, especially that example, to let them know, hey, my teammates were like the receivers specifically were not very excited when coach Moore was saying hey it's going to be one of those games but just letting them know the process of you know the approach I took during that time just saying hey you know guys this is a huge part in our quest to become a national champions and you know not necessarily saying that I was the only selfless one but telling the team telling the guys that my teammates were very selfless in that you know in that situation and just you know explaining situations like that and just ultimately letting them know the first thing three things about me is I'm the ultimate team guy want to win games and I love this game more than anything. JJ, have you had any interactions with the Vikings? Yes sir. Formal. How that go? Went amazing. Uh, Coach O'Connell led the whole thing and just being able to see him in person he was a lot taller than I thought um, and you know Coach McCown and uh, just everything about what they were talking about, everything about what they wanted out of a quarterback is something that aligns with what I want. And just being able to, you know, get on the board with them, have them go through their plays, uh, it was something really special and I enjoyed it. JJ, how do you, how do you think Sharon Moore is gonna do at Michigan? Amazing, you know, just the most important quality of a head coach at the University of Michigan is being a Michigan man. And he's got that. He's earned his stripes, and you know the boys love him. They're behind him, and with those two things, they're going to be successful no matter what. Two more guys. I would say just the overall energy. You know, I, it was my first one, so I was like super nervous. I'm not going to lie, and uh, sweating a little bit. And you know, Coach Quinn was just awesome. I got to talk to uh, Mr. Peters right before the meeting and, you know, just a great vibe, very welcoming and, you know, going through the clips and everything. And Coach Cliff Kingsbury was just like, hey, if you get a matchup out here and you really like it, could you just, you know, switch it to go on the outside? And I was something like, I wish, just little stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it was just great to meet them, great to, you know, talk ball with them. And I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, 
It was uh, it was quite easy, honestly. You know, he was somebody that was like, hey, I'm out here thinking of you if you were my son. And he told me, I want you to go because, you know, your draft stock, it, it could get higher, but not that much higher. And it's just an opportunity you don't want to pass up. And, you know, just hearing that from him just gave me so much more confidence because that was kind of where my head was leaning towards. And, you know, just hearing that was amazing. Thanks, this was before the Guys, the last road. one. The, the, I'm sorry, the, oh, yeah, the road ball. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry. <laughs> it's great seeing you guys. Thank you so much.